check one. It's dynamite. Check testing, check one. Is it too I loud? I told you once. And I told you twice. Check. We gonna light it up like, like it's, it's dynamite. dynamite. I said, hey, oh, hey, oh. Let me get a. Uh, Who sings that? The Beatles? Yeah. <laughs> I think that was John Lennon mm-hmm. in the Plastic Ono band. Is John Lovitz? Are we on Ben? Yeah, we're recording. Oh wow! Look at you! Look Isn't at that you! Great, exciting, exciting times ahead. Let's go! Let's fucking go, let's dude! Fucking let's go. fucking go, LFG, go, dude. <laughs> dude! I went to Hertz the other day. I was like, "Let's go!" <laughs> I love Hertz. Love Hertz. The yeah. only way I can think is in commercials. <laughs> yeah. My favorite yeah. Uh, sketches of all times are all commercials. Yeah, same. I go on. I go on. YouTube. You think that's Saturday Night Live? Yeah, I go. <laughs> you're like, I go, dude. Like I love the Geico Gecko, dude. Best new cast dude. member of 2006. I go. My favorite SNL episode is is between the Super Bowls. <laughs> like during the Super Bowl yeah. when, they, when they do Saturday Night Live mm-hmm. in short yeah. three minute increments is I very go, funny. I hope the Dosecki guy gets SNL this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I do is I have my grandson um, email me top 20 funniest YouTube commercials um, in a video from 2007 because I don't know how to get on YouTube. Oh, and I just watch the Budweiser Frogs. You can win a like, Grammy for like uh, being a comedian now. Do you see that? Or what? Or it's, maybe it's an Oscar? What is the new... Uh, Grammys. Is like it, the one you can win a Best Comedy Album and shit. I thought that was already a thing. It was like a new announcement for like... Uh, I don't know. Who gives a shit? For the Oscars I or something? Care. The, the Grammys are giving a Best Crowd Work Clip uh, award <laughs> yeah. this year. There's a, yeah, Best Wigger of the Year. <laughs> best asking a guy what he does for a living and telling him he sucks ass. Who has the biggest shoes? <laughs> <laughs> who's got the biggest cat who's got the best caption guy this year my vote's on rife dude yeah my vote's my vote's always at rife yeah no if you win a comedy grammy they should uh bludgeon you to death with it they you should accept a comedy grammy through the front of your skull mm-hmm. into the base of your brain i'm like dude can you believe the 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 Geico caveman got snubbed this year. I'm like, dude. <laughs> the Geico caveman yeah. should have got it. Dude, That you know that little gecko writes his own bits? Well, the Affleck duck was really had a, had a really good <laughs> few months. You know the greatest indictment of comedy is if the Affleck duck could tour and was real, it would sell out like mass. It destroyed. Yeah. It would yeah. fucking destroy. Yeah, if like the Apple Jacks, like the cinnamon stick and the that Jam- Apple, if the they Jama- could go on stage and do like a duo, like bumping mics thing, yeah. it would kill. If mm-hmm. there was a Jamaican cinnamon twist mm-hmm. that went, hey man, what you doing for a living? Yeah, and a big fat apple yeah. that hates everybody. That would make $80 million. <laughs> That that apple and yeah. Jamaican guy would Jamaican, be, yeah, it'd be do, stick. It would be doing a double bill with Joe Rogan mm-hmm. and Dave Chappelle, yeah, at like Philly's Eagle Stadium. The old the old Spice guy, like on on the horse on the beach. She's like being interviewed by Rogan talking about aliens. <laughs> As the set's revolving around, yeah, him. yeah, a, yeah, yeah. The Old Spice guy's winning a Peabody Award yeah. for excellence in television. Flagrant Two has on the most interesting man in the world. If you type, by the way, if you type in like "try not to laugh" challenge, it's like it's all like Super Bowl commercials. Like if you t- if you type in like like Gracie, Gracie God, Jesus, fucking damn it! If you type in like "try not to laugh" challenge on YouTube, I'm I'm. I'm pretty sure the last time I clicked on it, it was just the commercial where it's like, yeah, what's up? What's up? It, try not to laugh. It's because yeah. people they're try sitting. Not to laugh. People are sitting. Their head is in a <laughs> is in a jar. Their head is in a fish tank. Yeah, it's being they pickled their <laughs> own brain. Mm-hmm. Their legs. They 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 type with their toes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they blew off their hands in a fireworks and they, uh, accident. They, uh, they and they only speak in emojis. So they they open they they use the emoji with the open mouth like I'm hungry, mom, and they click that emoji. And then they just watch those commercials, and then they go, "That shit got me like yo." <laughs> you, uh, but you really, I'm not myself until I had a Snickers. <laughs> so. Snickers bars. There's a different people after they eat the Snickers yeah. bars. They're themselves now. Mom, can you turn the vice that keeps my <laughs> brain inside my head? <laughs> it needs to be tightened because my brain's leaking it. Yes, mom, get in here. Just liberty, liberty. <laughs> They go, yeah. try not to laugh. <laughs> I've never not laughed. People that have, like, literally, 
The only way I can describe it, it's like they have training wheels for their thoughts. Right. People people <laughs> who think the general fought in the army. <laughs> they thought, they, they that thought, little fucked up CGI guy. The little fucked up the car insurance. For the best guy. car insurance rates in town call 1-800-GENERAL now. The people who are so retired, they thought the general was uh, in Afghanistan yeah, yeah. with Norman Schwarzkopf. <laughs> Stepping off of a helicopter and sniping an Iraqi child. Mm. Yeah. Did, did, did you guys see that uh, TikTok where like every teacher is like, yeah, every seventh grade student reads at like a first grade level. Yeah. If they can read it, that. No, I don't I know saw, what teachers are doing now anymore. Oh, no. It's, it's funny. I, I, I've seen this like four times this week of, it, of its different TikToks of teachers being like, so my brightest student, my brightest student is dead. Dad, <laughs> because he's so retarded. Yeah, he ate a bunch of gum and choked on yeah. it. Teachers exist to get shot. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> they're just fodder. Third, third period is just breathing. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. third, you go to third period and remember mm-hmm. to breathe. Teachers We're work on in and out. Teachers are are grading <laughs> bullet wounds now. <laughs> You walk your homework is you walk to the front of class and they go okay that's three in the lung one in the leg and that's a B I think the, minus. the only like bright side of all this is kids are eventually going to become too retarded to know how to load the gun yeah and point it and shoot it We're, we are going to have our first school shooter where he, he points the gun at himself like Daffy Duck mm. and blows his own head off <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah you may freeze <laughs> pointing an AK forty seven. Well, soon the head. kids will be so fat that they 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 won't want to leave the bowling alley. We'll just be like, should we even go shoot the school up? And they got so much pizza here. They're too fat, <laughs> too fat to even go finish the job. Yeah, too fat to be a school <laughs> shooter. Yeah, it's gonna be a guy. Yeah, the guy's gonna kick in the cafeteria door and try to pull the trigger, but his finger can't fit in the trigger because mm. <laughs> he's too fat. Guy duct taping a, a Brett fifty cal to his rascal scooter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> runs out of battery. Yeah. He's just like who cares. <laughs> <laughs> he gives, a gives a fuck. He's, yeah, he's just like mo. He he fucking motors over to the cops. Just shoot me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I have no future. My brain's made out of plastic. Mm. No, they say like I, I saw a TikTok where they're like, yeah, our my best eighth grade student is reading at a third grade level. But all those kids can they all know the general theme song. Yeah. The, the yeah. Call eight one eight one eight hundred general now. See, mm-hmm. Devin's a former retard yeah. who mm-hmm. drank soda and sat on his couch and was Sealy like sort of mattresses, mm-hmm. the mattress guy. See, Devin knows all of them, but he, yeah. he can only name like twelve capitals there's, there's, in the United States. There's been a couple shooters that have walked <laughs> through like a school or a mall and they're just they're just like uh uh your mattress is free. <laughs> well, that's unloved. that's their MK trigger. Is yeah. they saw that commercial mm-hmm. and they just yeah. stood up and went, yeah. just went right. You to... must kill the prime minister of Malaysia. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's shooters who saw, who saw the one eight hundred Empire commercial. And they're like, it looks like my grandpa who molested me. <laughs> and they just they go, yeah, they go up. Well, I'm gonna go bomb a government building. <laughs> <laughs> just to get up. Yeah, they go. They go. Their mom. Mom, can I shoot at my school today? <laughs> they go now, Eric. I think some other students might have wanted to shoot up the school today. <laughs> but I really uh, want to. I really want to shoot up the school though. No, no, we're we're gonna we're gonna eat juju bees. <laughs> But I like that because they look like bullets. I, I like you too. And Rolo, they look like bullets. I like Rolo, they look like bullets. And I said, you need beats up my pee hole. They go, that's Eric. <laughs> Eric, you don't shove the jujubes. <laughs> How many times have I told you your penis is not a straw? But no, you said for mouth. <laughs> for for mouth, uh, not for penis hole. All right, Eric, you can shoot up the school if you do, <laughs> if you make your bet. I can't do it. <laughs> I tell you, I'm too retired. <laughs> Every time I try to make my bed, I get caught. <laughs> I get caught underneath the covers and almost die. <laughs> He just gets like that. Va- he tries to make the bed and he gets a vacuum sealed under uh, the fucking the cover. Eventually, the guy with Down syndrome is going to be the smartest kid in school. Like mm-hmm. you're hoping your kid has trisomy 21 mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah, special ed and gifted and talented are just going to switch labels outside <laughs> yeah. there. Uh, the principal's it's like gonna horseshoe walk- theory, kind of. Yeah, the principal's going to walk up and like grab the fucking signs off either door and just switch them. Be like, who gives a shit? Kids are so fucked. He's like, who gives a shit? Lemonade stands for Mike's Hard Lemonade. Yeah. No, dude, teachers can't spell their own names. No. 
No, you're, you're lucky now if your kid's born retarded. That's yeah. the smartest they could be. If you have a kid and you send them to a public school, you're like, hey, I'm you're going to get educated by whoever's willing to make $20,000 a year in America. Yeah, my friend just landed in Japan and he texted me. He goes, oh, we live in a third world country. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. They, they kind of like it was like a 25 year like long play here where they were like, you know, sl- like we had no idea what was going on. Yeah. We, we just don't know what we live in anymore. Yeah, like I mean, I told you, like we, me, my wife and I avoid su- certain supermarkets because we think they're going to get bad shot energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but that's like, like, what do I live in the Kandahar Valley? Like, am I going to crawl? Th- I'm eventually, I'm going to be like a. It's like trench warfare. I'm trying to go get eggs. Yeah, it will be like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so- yeah. <laughs> well, that's the that's the. We were of- two months ago. We had to duck because some guys were running around with yeah. machine guns, and we still went to Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. We kept driving we forward. Didn't go we home. didn't turn around yeah. and go home. Here's- we still. I think we went to Chili's. <laughs> Here's- we went around guys. It was like a no country for old men. They're running around with machine guns and stuff. Like when they kill him at mm-hmm. the end in the motel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We drove around and then pulled into a Chili's. We- and yeah. You- here's here's how you know America's. That's, that's why we're and I ate a lot. Well, it didn't fuck up my appetite ben, at all. Here's how you know America's fucked up is we almost got shot. Mm-hmm. We went to a Chili's and then we came back and recorded another app and we just talked about the Chili's. <laughs> we, we finished the app and go, oh, we forgot to talk about the shooting we were almost in. Mm, yeah. Yeah. One of those guys had a tech nine, by the way. Very cool. Yeah. It's as high as he can count. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there's no way in hell I'm home. I'm homeschooling my kid. No way uh, my kid's gonna go. Yeah, to so school. you can just make it retarded socially. Yeah, not I mean, mentally. Yeah, I, homeschooling it's, fucks him up, dude. Yeah, yeah. But then you got the kid that's like playing with bugs. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it shoots up its home. Kid that's like obsessed with soil. Yeah, kid who goes to college for the first time, he's like, "Did you know um, dolphins actually breathe air?" Yeah, and then he just gets like fucking Laramie Project by fucking water polo players at the University of Arizona. Yeah, my my kid just comes back with like all of his like limbs gone. Yeah, just rolls back home. Like, yeah. yeah, they cut, they cut, they rip my legs and my arms off. Yeah, they rip my leg because I only socialize with you and your retarded podcast. The mm-hmm. best outcome now is like for the next generation is you you survive a shooting or a rape. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I by the way I saw I saw a woman I'm trying to think who it was it was you know every Brittany Griner it, yeah it was Brittany <laughs> Griner it was Caitlyn Jr. Uh, every woman always they always have like a cause you know Patrice had that great line like a white woman's always trying to save something yeah white women especially when they're very pretty uh, and they're married to like a famous person or like a famous athlete they always oh yeah yeah you they can always tell have a thing they but they you can tell they they picked it because it's like part of yes. like their brand exactly they're yeah. very focused on like the environment or this or that yeah, yeah yeah i saw a woman i think it was i think it was she's married to a golfer she's very hot uh her her thing in her instagram bio was uh to end bullying <laughs> i'm like that's just the a vague worst. but that's the worst thing in school sadness <laughs> Yeah, it, it, let's in, let's in crying. It's better when it's vague, like or just you know, just broad, you mm-hmm, know, as opposed right. to like hyper specific, where they'll yeah, get right. like a weird, you know, protect Puerto Rican skydivers. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Yeah, yeah, what? That's a thing. Where'd you get that from? Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? No, because there there are. I do remember I was golfing in a chair a charity golf tournament one time, and they, it was like for this kid who died, and it was really sad. And then <laughs> it was every hole. What is she doing? She's ripping up one of the baby toys. Well, shit. that's a great. You're really asking to be put down once this baby's born. <laughs> She's like leaving you signs to kill yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. We're know. gonna have you put down, Gracie. All over the house. We're gonna have your ass injected with like uh... charity golf tournaments. What do they raise money for? Like like hoods. <laughs> <laughs> We're raising money for robes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we ran out of gasoline mm-hmm. for our crosses this year. <laughs> no, is it charity? Should, golf by t- the way, we should Rosemary Kennedy, Gracie. Like lobotomize her and like keep her in a cage. Yeah, you should not. You should her gruel. You shouldn't put her down. You should put her in a prison of her own brain. <laughs> it would be too mean to euthanize her. Let's instead um, make her body into a jail cell. I think her ass is too big to like lethally inject. You should um, kill her first off, mm-hmm. but then you should yeah. mount. You should mount her ass like it's a deer head. <laughs> Just the ass. Okay, but sorry. Go on, Jace. This stupid fucking dog. No, it was. Uh, it was just very funny. 
funny because nobody, the entire golf tournament, nobody could figure out what the kid died from that they started. <laughs> it's a memorial, right? It was, it was a memorial. It was yeah. like, you know, the, the Grace and Frankie, you know, memorial. <laughs> yeah, the Rizzolian Isles. It was the Rizzolian Isles yeah. memorial. And I remember it was like every hole, like we'd walk up to like a new group because it was like for this fire alarm cup I worked at. And they'd be like, they're like, oh, it's a great day. And they're like, what's this? Um, what that kid? What are we raising money for? And they're like, ah, some weird type of cancer. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like uh, called like myocarditis or something. <laughs> and then I swear to God, by the 15th hole, there was a guy being like, I don't know what it is. He goes, honestly, this money's going to waste. Only like three people get it a year. So it's like, who gives a shit? <laughs> he goes, but have you, did you see the back nine? Green as hell. Yeah. I've never understood charities. Like, just give the money. You guys, why do you, why do they always make you go through a whole song and dance? Like, why do you got to play golf? Just give the, like, they act like if mm-hmm. you don't play golf well, like the kid dies. <laughs> right. Like, we could just give, like, like here's $100. Just, and they're like, no, you have to go. Just go do it. You have to go listen to your boss tell Chinese guys. But, jokes. like, he only has, like, 36 hours <laughs> left to live, but we have to finish this game. It would and be decide. It would be funny if you showed up. You're like, thank you for every, everyone for making the memorial. Uh, I will be letting you know. Uh, if you don't shoot it at, at least a 68 today, we will be uh, killing the remainder of people that have this disease. <laughs> the stakes are very high right. today, so I hope you brought yeah. your game. Thanks for all your money. However, one of the kids said he will be committing suicide. Yeah, yeah. this is Squid Games, motherfucker. If he does not see a 67 today. <laughs> yeah. It's it, like, you know that kid when the Babe Ruth met the kid and he asked him for two home runs? Well, it's that, but the kid's threatening to kill himself. Oh, what was what's the story with Babe Ruth? What what is it? Yeah, the the famous story where Babe Ruth goes and he meets like a kid like with fucking rickets or whatever. (laughs) Yeah, because in like the thirties, they just died from you know like not eating carrots. Yeah, their legs were just like made of wood. (laughs) (laughs) It's a kid with like like fucking like walrus fucking snout legs. He has Pinocchio syndrome. Yeah, (laughs) and Babe Ruth met the kid and he's like he's like, hey, how about I hit a home run for you tomorrow? And the kid's like. Mr. Ruth, if you want me to get better, why don't you hit? I need you to hit two home runs. And Babe Ruth's like, oh, you fucking piece of shit. Fuck you. Babe Ruth's like, faggot. Don't push it. (laughs) Yeah, Babe Ruth's like, I mean, there was cameras there. So Babe Ruth's like, sure. And he's leaving like, little bitch, uh, fucking retard kid. (laughs) Fuck you. Mental fuck, retard. Fuck two home runs, bitch. I love fuck ba- your ass. I love Babe Ruth because he looked like Alex Jones, but he was really good at baseball. Yeah, no, he re- he really did look like a black white guy. <laughs> <laughs> he really did. Yeah. He looks like tr- that Troy Aikman Jay Z combo mm-hmm. that yeah. went viral. Mm. There's a rumor that he was black. You know, well, he was pretty good at a sport. Yeah, ba- Babe Ruth was black. when he was playing. There was a bunch of people who refused to play against him because they they claimed he was black. Like he was an albino black guy? No, that he was just a very light skinned black guy. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. But he was just an ugly Italian man. He was really fat though, right? Yeah. White people can be fat. Oh, sure. Yeah. I've seen plenty. <laughs> They're actually very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I tip my cap to you, sir. Tip my cap. It's the only people I've seen get fat on the back of their head. <laughs> Good sir. No, that's not true. We were studying a guy at the diner just before this. Where we were like, "Look at the back of this guy's." Well, he neck. was not be, black though. Yeah. Was little... To be fair, I said he's so fat that he got black fat on the, <laughs> yeah, on the he, back. Of he got neck. the he got the card machine, the swiper. He got it, the, the the type of fat you see at Six Flags. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The AAU basketball yeah. coach his, neck. His head looks like those. Uh, you know those. Uh, like uh, viral reels where there's a hydraulic press and it's crushing something. It looks like his head is in one of those things. He looked like, like one you of, put a basketball in a hydraulic press. It he, was crazy. He looked like one of those retarded kids that parents leave on TikTok live. Yes. That's how swollen <laughs> his head and neck were. Yeah. Yeah. I love that we classify all of them, by the way. Like we walk in, we go, Cushing syndrome, 11, 11 o'clock. <laughs> We go art way ahead of you already saw him. Skinny right. legs, skinny arms, huge belly. Got it. Can I tell you, by the way, I didn't point this out to you because we were checking out, but there was a guy in the table next to us. I thought he was retarded because I heard him talking. And I didn't want to I didn't want to point him out because I knew you were gonna pull out like a big cutlass and just like <laughs> You're gonna pull out like a fucking NFL camera yeah. and start playing fucking retarded Pokemon Go like you do. You play fat and retarded Pokemon Go. You just take pictures of them in the wild. I, I it really, it's just like bird watching is just, I got into bird watching after people watching. Yeah, you, do, basically. you do tard watching mm-hmm. is what you do. Yeah. 
so there was a guy I thought he was mentally retired. And I didn't point him out, and then um, I looked again while we were leaving, and he was just really Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> he was so Jewish that he sounded like he had Down syndrome. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So, sometimes the Jewish guys, they can start to sound like, you know, because it's a lot of like sneezing and coughing. Just a go, lot of you always and... You always have a cold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's like retarded. They always have their hands in their mouths. They're just sick all the time. Their cells are complaining at all times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But uh, anyway, I saw this lady and I was like, your, your, your big thing that you you look at schools and you go you know we can make schools a better place if we stop name calling Mm -hmm. we stop like you know in too many schools nowadays these kids are like giving each other swirlies they're calling each other gay like we need to stop which i which i love those superficial like white charities where it's like hey don't worry we end ended bullying at your school and they go Okay, is my mom still on crack and <laughs> my drinking water's full of lead? And they go, yeah. yes, but no one's calling you gay. Okay, but I still can't like feel my arms because of right. the stuff in my water. So does <laughs> wait? So does the air still make me sick when I use it to yeah. breathe? Uh, and they go, yes, but no people don't say retard anymore. <laughs> Yeah, we got people to stop saying retard. We got people to stop saying retard. Most of the children in your neighborhood are retarded because of all the uh, all the soul fight that's in your but we uh, ended in your bullying. bread. Yeah. You yeah. still need to use WD forty on your hands to move, but we ended bullying. Right. We ended bullying. Your parents still make five dollars a year mm-hmm. getting shot by the police for a living. <laughs> Your Honestly, parents not the worst job. Your parents go to the getting shot by the cops factory. Yeah, you just you have a big punch sheet. Like mm-hmm. you, you put it in, you clock in, you immediately get domed in the back of the yeah. head, mm-hmm. and you go into the hospital. Hey, but we gotta, we gotta make news somehow, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. I that's... mean, they're gonna make stretch limousine ambulances of it. Like in Chicago, it'll be like an ambulance that can take four thousand people. Dude, to the hospital. We're gonna have, we're gonna oh, have yeah. ambulances that are just cement mixers. <laughs> like they turn, they turn the bodies so mm-hmm. they don't get all congealed together. <laughs> From dry blood. Yeah, they're throwing them in the back. Throwing them in the back so they just tumble around Mm. so they don't get... And then when they pour them out, they're like, all right, who's still moving? They're like, these three people. It's like, okay, shoot them in the back of the head. Yeah. And that's the hospital now. Do you guys have, like, your spot picked out for when, like, shit hits the fan? When no, I don't. Gets really bad. I don't. You you think about that a lot. I just don't. I don't know if I think about it I'm so nihilistic. I don't even care about... The, that that happening the, yeah at the end times i could see Devin like the the nuclear like the big the he's gonna finally bite the big one and he sees it coming down like a meteor like through the atmosphere you know mm-hmm. and i see i could see Devin like doing a u-turn on santa monica boulevard and heading straight toward it Devin's like i want i want the big one to like land directly i want to get there first <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. you're like I, it's for me actually it's all mine it's all mine yeah <laughs> he's driving towards the meteor like like randy quaid the worst part Day. about yeah. dying in like a nuclear attack would ha- be ha- like sharing my death with yeah. all the other retards that is what's annoying <laughs> that about would it be when a, i think about it be hilarious if you were you, there was a nuclear bomb that went off and you're the one guy to die uh, i'd be like they got one casualty <laughs> And it's just they show you on the news and you're just like, yeah. you're just like some asshole at a bar. Yeah, they have a shitty picture. <laughs> they have really of you. shitty like Stephen Paddock photo of you yeah, yeah. with your eyes closed. Yeah. yeah. They're saying Russia only hit this man. Mm-hmm. He was uh, 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 Echo Park's Devin Costa. Yeah, he like a dart in my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was yeah. Luckily the nuke didn't go off. It did kill this man who was driving to Temecula to get Dean Norris's barbecue. <laughs> And it hit him on the fucking he's, 134. He's, he is survived by two Patreons. <laughs> yeah, the families will meet to divide his Patreons. <laughs> According to his will, his will, which was dictated to a drunk man at a Union Station bar <laughs> onto a cocktail napkin. His will, his will, which was dictated to a retarded man at a Union Station bar named um, Slip and Jimmy. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, you have to say publicly, by the way, right now, if you die, that your dad doesn't get your cut of this Patreon. You have to publicly say that right now. So I publicly fu- say, Dad, you get you don't get anything. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Not a piece for you. Thank you. And I've and I've publicly said to you, if if I die or kill myself, that you should just split the Patreon amongst yourselves. Oh, as Very we would. As Very we generous. would. We wouldn't give it to your girlfriend at all. No, as you you shouldn't. She doesn't contribute to mm-hmm. these yeah, bits. She wasn't mm-hmm. in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> She wasn't gooning out before yeah. this for was three she, hours. Was she ruining the rest yeah. of her career prospects after this podcast? Was ends? she mm-hmm. brutally miserable for 33 years? <laughs> Didn't no, think so. think not. <laughs> Did not think so. Did she shit herself at Boy Scout camp? Mm-mm. 
No, ma'am. Mm-mm. No, sir. So she does not get a share of this money. Mm-mm. Yeah. No. I do have a, uh, speaking of golfers' wives, I saw Brooke Kep. Don't lick my fucking elbow. <laughs> what is with her? We should start closing the door because I am close to kicking her. <laughs> it's starting to actually piss me off. She's the only dog I've ever wanted to <clears throat> smush her face. We just have like the same Aww. moment every episode where we go, oh, big, dumb, fat Gracie did a thing. I just hate that when you don't even know she's there and she just walks. She walks 30 feet up to you to lick the back of your elbow without seeing you. Yeah. Then you're getting robbed by a pervert. Um, no, I was going to say, speaking of uh, golfers. We'll, we'll watch the machine after this and take turns punching her in the face. Uh, <laughs> we are going to have gonna, a real, real we, night. We are going to finally watch the machine after this. <laughs> yeah, we way. actually are, by the way. It was very, I'm so excited. This is yeah. how sad our lives are, is we we promised ourselves we would watch the machine. Together. Together. Like, yeah. we had to save it, yes. and then we forgot, and then Katie reminded us, and we go, oh, dude, fuck! <laughs> Like we forgot the Super Bowl was tonight. Well, this is our this is since we don't drink, especially this is like our wine that we haven't uncorked yet. Like, yeah, we've been yeah. saving it. It's mm. our jankum. Yeah, and it's just as <laughs> it's just as healthy for the human body. Yeah, as a severe drinking. Don't lick my fucking leg. That sucks. But she loves you. Um, I was gonna say, speaking of golfers' wives, I, w- I was loving the Ryder Cup happened this week. We oh got, yeah, we got our ass beat by Europe. Yeah, American oh, American golfers were crying. They got beat so bad. Scotty Scheffler was crying. He got beat nine and seven. That's great. Yeah, it's really good, good. actually. Yeah, which is the gayest thing you could do, but uh, is cry on the golf course because you got beat. Do we usually <laughs> dominate golf? Uh, the Ryder Cup always goes back and forth, but we got our asses royally whipped this year by the European people. The, apparently the American players were complaining they weren't getting paid to be in the Ryder Cup and they didn't care about like actually representing the United States. Uh, all this, I don't know if this is actual rumor or not, but uh, they're all a bunch of like babies who just want to make millions of dollars. Mm-hmm. A lot of them, a lot of the American players and they don't care about representing their country at all. Which I guess, why would they? I guess, you know, sure. why don't they give a shit? But the Europeans are they? Yeah, they're really into it, and they really want to win. And they came together as a team and like actually gave a shit and just whooped the Americans. Right, completely. and then go and then go back to living in Florida. Yeah, That's they, what they, they also they, yeah, they all, all live go, here. Right? They all go back to Windermere, Florida. Yeah, where they live in a thirty million dollar house, mm-hmm. and they all eat barbecue. Fucking, fucking their American wife who looks insane. Yeah, and then once every two years they go, no fucking Ireland, this place I didn't, this piece right? of shit I didn't leave immediately. Yeah, yeah, that the, sucks. The Ryder Cup's actually gay. It Ryder used to Cup's be cool. Gay. It's gay, but I do love they feature the wives in the Ryder Cup, the players' wives, and it's funny to see them every year get more insane looking. Brooks Kapska wife looks like a greyhound with t- a tit job. <laughs> it's like it's like insane. They get more emaciated and get bigger tit jobs every mm. year. They should do uh they should do like a Ryder Cup, but it's the Democrats versus Republicans, and there's just there's there's just <laughs> one black guy on the Democrat side, yeah, and, and the it's rest. not and it's not Tiger. It's not. <laughs> there's no, no way in Tiger. hell it's no. Tiger. Isn't that Tiger? No. Said, Tiger said, "I I climbed the ladder, <clears throat> and that'll be it." No, Thank it, you very it's much. It's Cameron Champ. Who's Cameron Champ? Cameron Champ is literally a he's literally a white guy who identifies as an African American on he, the PGA Tour. I'll show you a picture of him. He's, he's like logic kind of. Or? He has the logic of the PGA Tour. <laughs> his dad is very black though, but no, no, it just it's it, his it, grandpa. Come on. Oh, his grandpa's yeah, very yeah. black. No, he, he got raised by his grandpa who's black, and so he thinks he's African American. This is his grandpa right here. Here I'll show you. What did he hire that guy? <laughs> I know his grandpa looks like R.L. Burnside, yeah. and he looks like uh, a Duke lacrosse. This rapist. is my grandfather, Bagger Vance. <laughs> <laughs> he got like a—he's like super into BLM, and he like he talks about being an African American all the time. Isn't that amazing? Well, I mean, you know, I would too if I had it. His hair's a little curly. Oh come on, Devin! Come on. You can't give it up for that. Come on, there's Nine? black guys that get the—they sh- get the white end of the stick. You think that's a black guy? Yeah, if, it, if that's his fucking family, that guy was black as hell. <laughs> Unless he hired the guy, he's black. This is grandpa. He just looks white. But I, I guess if you kind of look at him long enough, he kind of starts turning into a black guy. Yeah. If you squint your eyes. You gotta be, you gotta, you have to act like proud he's, and shit. He's Even like though, one of those magic eye posters for being black. Yeah. You have to look through him mm-hmm. and you can see it. Yeah, I mean. He's, yeah. he's got black ears, actually, the more I look at his ear. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a black ear. I'm looking right. at the ear. His hair's a little wavy. 
Yeah, but Jews have wavy hair, and we don't call them African American. Yeah, well, that's because they, they'd kill us if we did, but they probably have it in them. Yeah, I don't know. He looks fine to me. He yeah. looks he looks black enough. He looks like like one of those like nougaty black guys. Nougaty. Chris Rock had a whole bit on like nougaty black guys. Mm-hmm. I know. If just, and I'm let just me saying. clear up the word I'm saying. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. That's his family. Uh, that's uh, yeah. I mean, this. I mean, that's a black guy. His family Devin. is like very black. Like they look so black, they look like they kill gay people in like Haiti and shit. <laughs> Like they look like they wake up just right. beating gay children. <laughs> his his parents do look like boat black people. To be fair, <laughs> I mean if he's a, I mean then then you know uh, the the guy who wrote uh, what's his name serve beer in hell. What's that guy? Tucker, Tucker, Tucker Max. Max. Yeah, then Tucker Max is it. I mean this guy is literally like this is like the head of a frat right here. Yeah, but he's but you can't you can't deny <laughs> his heritage, Ben. You're damn right I can. He's tall. I do, hey, Devin, and, I do it all the time. He's tall and big. <laughs> Here we go. To be fair, his granddad does look like R.L. Burnside. Yeah, his his granddad is like... I wonder if he has any relation to Vince Champ. <laughs> <laughs> the comic. My, my favorite comedian. My favorite, my comic. favorite comedian, yep. Who'd uh, yeah, you do a tight five in the bushes with you. <laughs> Let the people at home know who Vince Champ Vince is. Vince Champ was a uh, famed college comedian who was also a rapist. Mm-hmm. And he would, like, after sets at the college, wait in the bushes and, and uh, rape people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rape women. A lot of people are into comedy just for the pussy. There he is. There's Vince Champ. Yeah, it's him right here. What a king. <laughs> uh, well, it's just, I, it's so funny. There's just a bunch of pictures of black people that are coming up on Google Images that aren't him. Google's so racist sometimes. This is him. There he is. Yeah, that's him right What's there. What's his stand up like, Vince? Oh, it's great. Oh, did, it's did, he, did he do like like he did very clean comedy, well, right? No, he do he do like, you know, like white people rape like this, black people rape like <laughs> that. <laughs> we work all of Oh, we're hot tonight. We're hot tonight. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, great crowd, great tonight. crowd. I'd love to rape some of you in a dumpster. <laughs> He goes, can you kill the lights? <laughs> yeah. Get no down You're way low. Put the lights a little lower. I'm going to sneak into the crowd. <laughs> way, way low. <laughs> Push that button all the way down. <laughs> Who's had too much to drink tonight? All right. <laughs> I'll see you in the parking lot. I right away kind of consider myself quite different from most black comedians because I have a black I'm a rapist. So, you know, I am. <laughs> Wait, what, he, what do you do? Like a Boo Radley joke out of the gate? What was that? Comedians because I have a black girlfriend. So, you know, I am. <laughs> Uh, oh, he's making oh, black comics and white girlfriends. Very good. That's Vince pretty ahead Champ. of the times, honestly. Hon- I've and seen also, being a rapist, pretty ahead of the times. He, all he needed to do is wait. I know. Mm-hmm. And he could have had a whole army behind him mm-hmm. these days. I wish Trump would have pardoned him. Because <laughs> all anyone does now is rape. It's true, yeah. Yeah, he actually opened for Cosby back <laughs> yeah. in the day. Yeah. <laughs> it's Cosby's protege. <laughs> it's still the best Cosby walking out of the out of court mm-hmm. getting proved innocent and he's doing like the uh I mean you can't say like shuck and jive because that's that like Albert bad, thing but he's doing he like, did the, like well he yeah, did too he did is. the one where he like juke faked yeah, ju- juked his head back and there was another time he's walking out of court I think it was when he was proven innocent or not proven innocent when he was found guilty and he walked out of court <laughs> and he went and they're like, they're like, Mr. Cosby, Mr. Cosby, what did you rate those women? And he goes, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he goes, hey, hey, hey. And then every reporter just goes dead. Because <laughs> they're like, I don't. <laughs> it seems very gross and disgusting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if Cosby did it or not. Jury's still I never, out. I never really like formed me. an opinion on it. Whether he did it. I mean, he definitely did it, but, but they I still were, haven't like, formed well, okay, an opinion. Well, okay, he did it. For but, sure, but I'm trying to form an hold opinion on, on it. Yeah, my, opi- my opinion's not done yet. Yeah, yeah. He definitely did it, He though. did it, <laughs> but they were asleep. <laughs> <laughs> they can't remember mm-hmm. what happened. It, uh, uh, hey, listen. It is the nicest when way to I'm go about asleep, it. When I'm asleep, you could do anything. <laughs> if, if you leave my house, you come in, make yourself eggs, watch TV, shower, you leave. I don't know you were there. I'm not going to... Did you break and enter? Would mm-hmm. you Would you feel violated if I fucked you it, while you were asleep? No, it's if a tree falls in the woods and no one's there to hear. I'm not yeah. conscious. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. You but know, if a woman gets raped in the woods and nobody's alive to see it anymore, mm-hmm. did yeah. it happen? You know. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I, but what if the if, dreams that these people were having were more of a nightmare than the what Cosby was doing? That's a good point. Yeah. What if that was not even the worst <laughs> thing happening that night? 
Have you guys ever had in a, their mind? Have you ever had a dream? All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we already we already ruined the first episode. By defending, yeah, by defending. We're trying this to make sure much. this one stays on YouTube because the... I've been doing a running gag on Hate Watch though, and I'll do it here too. Uh, sure, there are a lot of stories that are going to come out about me. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. You're doing a Russell Just Brand. Thing. I don't want people yeah. to be shocked. You're doing a Russell Brand moving hard alt right because you know some like things are coming out. No, yeah. there's so many stories. <laughs> I get DMs all the time. People tag me in stories all the time. And Will you fucking stop? <laughs> get her out of here. Stop. She's awesome. I don't want to be mean. She literally is. She won't, won't, she won't stop licking as you push dude, her head away. She's like the Cosby of dogs. <laughs> she's she raping you. She won't. Know You're getting her. raped by a dog. <laughs> Gracie, uh, stop. Nice. It's actually hard. Stop. It's hard to watch. Maybe you're so stop. S- maybe you're so stinky. She's licking. Stop. She's it. trying to lick the stink off of you. I did take a fat shit before we recorded, yes. so that could be it. So she's looking. Stop. She, she thinks you smell like shit. Dude, she literally won't stop. Yeah, it's okay, though. It's fine. You just got to tell her no. Jesus and then Christ. she doesn't listen. <laughs> Would you guys get mad? Or actually, let me rephrase this. Have you guys ever had a dream where you're getting raped? Mm. No. Yes, actually. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think I have. And I don't have never had a dream where I've raped anyone either. Thing, these people, I could have like the worst dream of all time. I wake up, I shake it right off. Okay. So you do? I shake it right off. You just like a dog out of a bath. I, go, I don't. I don't have time mm-hmm. to think about awful things anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm moving right on. I'm gonna stuff my face. I'm mm-hmm. gonna have a drink. Have a coffee. I'm gonna go talk some shit. I don't <clears throat> care about like identifying the bad things happening to me. Yeah, you know. Devin opened like a, up a whole new world to me. People uh, focus this past on these week. things too much. Devin took me out to the bar. Like five days ago. Oh, you relapsed? Congrats. No, I didn't relapse, but we had one hell of a time. We had a great time, and this uh, this Guatemalan man kept trying to fuck us. Who was drunk. Yeah, we got attacked by a little fat... It looks like the kid from Up, but he was Guatemalan, yeah. and he kept asking for cocaine, mm-hmm. and then he would try to fuck us. He, let, he looked like his parents were Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not he looked like every guy you see at Home Depot yeah, like in yeah, the parking lot yeah. mm-hmm. and he really wanted to fuck yeah. Ben he was you a day laborer past, who wanted to suck us all yeah, off you yeah you drive past Home Depot you're like I need two guys to fuck two guys <laughs> senor suck your balls and they go senor. cocaine cocaine and they go no cocaine just gonna fuck you yeah, ah, fuck. Uh, I'll fuck you medical medical <laughs> <laughs> He did keep saying that too. Give say America. He kept yeah. calling us Mari Cones and then saying Moy Bonita. Yeah. So he was like, he was like a hate, like he hated himself for being gay, but he still wanted to fuck us. Yeah, he was like a midget too. Yeah. It was very strange. And his, he was the kind of I love the day laborer guys because they only on, they only can wear shirts in one size. Mm-hmm. It's just you go to a store and it says like small, medium, large, XL, and then day laborer. It like is, they're only allowed to wear one shirt and they keep pulling it down over their paunch. Day laborers and kids with Down syndrome have the exact same. <laughs> fit of mm. shirts for some reason they don't make them in any other sizes for some reason mm. they have the sleeves that are all fucked that where it looks like uh yeah like football pads somehow they come up somehow not a single piece of the shirt fits their body no not even by yeah. accident and they're small mm-hmm they're small, but it's it's coming up on his belly. So he keeps pulling his belly down, and then he has, like, again, a brand of a phone I've never seen in my life. Yes, and he's wearing a shirt for a, for a sports team that doesn't exist. <laughs> he was. I don't know what It's always, was. like, a made-up, long, long like, a, like, a, uh, like the NBA team on a different planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's repping the monsters. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but he kept trying to suck us all off the whole time. He literally at one point felt like his head, he fell asleep on Connor's like dick. Like his yeah. head like rested on Connor's lap. That's, that's a complete <laughs> fake fall. He's like, oh, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> oh, I just fall asleep on your penis. <laughs> But he kept saying like "muy bonita, Marco." Yeah, and he would chase me, and I would go, I would go, uh, "mucho bien, <laughs> mucho, <laughs> mucho bien, mucho bien." <laughs> Just running away from this tiny. Yeah, he was a gay, a gay baby. Well, he for wandered. Cocaine. Obviously, he got abandoned by whoever he was. Smoking crack and fucking Doing whatever with. <laughs> yeah. And he walked over to us and he goes, Oh, he's a gringo. I love a gringo ass. And he just like kept trying to fuck Dude, us he all might, night. He might have just walked out of the kitchen and tried to fuck you guys. <laughs> Dude, like he might have got fired from his kitchen job for smoking too much crank. He goes, I go fuck these gringos. Uh, Devin told me that there's all these day laborers that like uh, smoke a bunch of like crack. 
and then like they're in a foreign country so they don't even they don't know where they are anymore Mm -hmm. and then eventually i think like someone just like like uh, picks them up with a big shovel and then puts them <laughs> puts them in the back of a truck. I and then definitely takes didn't them tell to you this. <laughs> what? I think you told me it's a thing where they get like huh? fucked up and then they're lost and they don't know what's going on and they're just like cooking <laughs> and they just like they like start panicking. They they don't know who they are anymore. They just wander around a city. They don't know what what country they're in. They're just they start trying to suck people off. Yeah, this is what you told me happens. I don't know them. why you're throwing this on me. <laughs> you told me I this. didn't say that. I'm, t- I'm telling you, he's I don't even know what you just meant. You told me it's like a really fucked up thing where like day laborers they come over here and then they like lose their group and they can't speak any English and then they start like smoking crack and living on the street. What? <laughs> this is what you told me. This is what you told me. No, I didn't. No, there's a difference between Devin when he's like this nine is, beers deep and then Devin insane. when he's stone cold sober. That What you just said didn't even make any fucking it sense. It makes perfect sense. I told you. Okay, that- how about you in Japan? If you're in Japan, you get lost. You can't speak fucking Japanese. You're going to walk around so I and start to- asking girls if you can eat their pussy. <laughs> so this- and you're well, so start- your, your solution is to smoke crack and try to fuck. <laughs> yes, to fit in with the locals. I want to fuck Shinzo Abe. <laughs> Where is where's the president? <laughs> I'm building a gun made out of uh, soda bottles. <laughs> like, where's the bullet train? I definitely, I don't even know what that meant. <laughs> I don't even know yeah, what I know. you just you said. Really, that's what, I'm going to start calling you. You really, you really are a grenade launcher. You're, you're a dry drunk. <laughs> where's yeah. my phone? You had a drunk night sober. Hold on. And you started no. thinking of this whole idea where like, Mexican guys like lose their pack first off like coyotes Hold on. and then they start smoking crack Hold on. and then people shovel them into a car I'm calling Connor and he's gonna back me up on this what's up buddy hey buddy I'm sorry to do this but you're on lemon party right now this is Connor McNutt everyone <laughs> didn't you tell me with that gay little like Guatemalan baby who was trying to suck us all off and smoke crack <laughs> Didn't you tell me that day laborers, uh, like, they get all fucked up in foreign countries, they don't know where they are anymore, and they, like, live on the street and stuff? Oh, my God, this is so incriminating. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Connor, didn't you say, like, a really hateful thing about a racial group that one time? <laughs> anyway, you know, I've heard of thousands of people. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I'm allowing you to speak. Go ahead. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. All right, bye. Was I even close? Did you tell me that or did Devin? When I lived in New York, I would just see it all the time where you just see like these dudes who were clearly working all day Mm -hmm. get abandoned by everyone they were with. And they were like, I saw dudes get picked up by like EMTs. From like bodegas. <laughs> oh yeah, you told me like a guy he drank like four, like seventeen beers in a bodega, and like there was a cat like crawling over him, and like yes. EMTs just dragged him out by the boots. They're like, it's yeah, he's insane. been in there for seven hours. He's like scared to go he's outside. In full work gear. It's like he's dirty from the day, and he's like literally leaving a bodega on a stretcher. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's high from the paint stains on his pants. Mm. <laughs> yes, and it's like how they kill people in Scandinavia, where they take that guy to the bay and they put him on a boat and they just push him out <laughs> into the mm-hmm. ocean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they shoot like they, flaming bow and arrows at him. They use him to celebrate a new ship they built, yeah. and if he doesn't explode on the side of it like a bottle of champagne. Right. They build Manhattan out of those guys. Yeah. You know what? You know what's so insane about this is I'm in the car with Valerie right now. Is, oh hi Valerie. Hi, Valerie. <laughs> you called who to is, ask this question. Who is Mexican? So she can vouch. She can vouch. <laughs> M- mucho bien. Yeah, exactly. Mucho bien. I'm really glad you called Connor because Ben for the last like five minutes was like, Devin, didn't you tell me that there's all these Mexican guys that pass out and then people take shovels and they throw them in the back of a truck and they force them to suck their dick and do cocaine and smoke crack? And I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? No, 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 no. Connor said that. <laughs> I did it. He just went straight to you. Okay, mucho bien. Thank you, Connor. We'll, we'll leave you to your date night with Valerie. Thank Valerie, you, uh, you, and, you and Katie have to hang out soon and uh, be evil together. Yeah, it's gonna happen. All right, all right. See, see ya. Bye, guys. Bye.
That's a that's a first. You called somebody on the podcast to do a hate crime to them. <laughs> you, we should just start calling random people. Like, didn't you scream the n word last night? Who else should we do that to? No, Who else not. should we do that no, to? Let that. me check my phone. No. <laughs> Let me see. Hey, we could do that to uh, my friend Aaron. He has tenure. I could call him. Like, Did you like remember when yesterday? Okay, you, call me? you can get fired for tenure. <laughs> I don't want to be the first do person pe- to get a tenured do- professor fired. That would be hilarious. Yeah. To get tenure to be unfireable and get and that's it's being the Titanic and going down. Yeah, having tenure and still get that a universe that a university is like fuck a union. We don't care. We'll pay a million dollars to fire this. That's guy. totally a Randy Marsh situation where he you get tenure. You're in the next day. You just you have your dick out in class. R- no, Randy like, Marsh. Hey, would, fucking tenure, dude. Randy Marsh would get tenure and be like, be upset he can't get fired because he wanted to get unemployment. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, they don't even give people tenure anymore because we live in a uh, we live in the matrix. <laughs> Very good. Do they not give people tenure? Wow. Whoa, dude. <laughs> you. Dude, you're like a modern day philosopher. Look at you. I don't even, dude. Yeah. I don't even call the Matrix a movie. I call it a documentary, dude. My my friends, my friend, my friend, his uh, wife's dad started mm-hmm. t- texting her that he found out. He goes, "Hey, hey, uh, have you heard about uh, Andrew Tate?" Mm-hmm. Oh boy! And she was like, "Yeah, I've heard about him." And he was like. Yeah, he like knows pretty much that we all like live in like a matrix society and that like we're being lied to. And he like makes a lot of good points. You should look him up. Knowing that his daughter is like an environmentalist, like, right? Vegan, yeah, and, like, and he, but he doesn't, he doesn't like have the vocabulary. He's like, hey, so he hey, honey, says, have like, you heard of Andrew Tate? He's like, I'm starting to think I should have raped you growing <laughs> up. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's how you know. Like we're like entering a real loser society when mm-hmm. dads need to figure out how to get pussy online. That's yeah, fifty-seven year old, fifty or seven year old dads are looking at their like loving wife who they raised a family with. They're like, she's a fucking bitch. Well, mm-hmm. That's how you know how fucked we are when fifty-seven year old men and seven year old <laughs> boys are both finding out about the same guy and they're like, he's fucking sick. <laughs> he's awesome. He's awesome. Yeah. He'll teach me how to cam. He's just superhero. It's superheroes for virgins. That's all it is. It's like you, you're playing. You're sitting on the floor. You have like a Jordan Peterson doll and like an Andrew Tate doll. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I fuck trannies and like, yeah. no fuck yeah. Daggett actually. And yeah, fuck them all. Yeah. And da, da, da. And you go here comes the blue haired liberal girl. Flying <laughs> <laughs> right. down. Here you go, co- slice your head <laughs> off. Here comes the woman we made up for the purpose of our argument. <laughs> And then, and then here's Donald Trump right here, and he's oh oh shoot, he's going down into the tunnel, and he's rescuing all the kids. Sweet, <laughs> fucking loser. Yeah, he's cards. rescuing all the all the kids who are who are victim of pedophiles. Also, I want to fuck fourteen year old girls. <laughs> I do love the overlay of like yeah. guys who are into the sound of freedom and also currently raping fourteen year old women. Yeah, yeah. I would love now that I think about it. I would love to have a really fat like Trump action figure though, and I would play with it. My and I would do the voice. at one of my jobs. A guy had a Trump action figure Shut in his office. Oh, oh, this guy, this guy made like two hundred fifty grand a year, <laughs> <laughs> and like literally, dude, like put security systems in like USC buildings. Uh. And then he'd come back with his Trump flag and his his Trump tie and his Trump socks, and he would have like a Trump necklace and a Trump action figure. Oh no! Like on his desk, and he would just be like, "Be like, yeah, we just sold another million dollar job. Saw a fucking tranny though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we sold the job. I don't know if I want to take it. It would make me a million dollars, but they're doing gender neutral bathrooms, and I think that's um a cancer on this country." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my life rules and I'm and I'm mentally insane because Yeah, my life rules. I have a loving family. I make a million dollars a year, but I've got mentally insane because of liberals. Yeah. Uh, it's like just like this is like root on the Packers. I know. Something. Just put a get a cheese head. I know. Yeah. Just be like a Dolphins fan, you know? Yeah. Mm. Just uh boy. Dude, can you believe? Yes. <laughs> Uh, hun- every I'll believe time, anything. Every time, yes. I'll believe anything. Just stop it. Can you believe? Yes, I can. And I'm not. Move, and move the fuck on. And I'm not checking out anything you tell me to check out. Mm-hmm. What is wrong with you, by the way, if you don't just watch sports now? What the fuck is wrong with your mental retard brain? Because yeah. they got a political. What's, yeah, sports uh, are all political. Yeah. Well, they kind of, they kind <laughs> of are odd. Yeah. See a guy score a touchdown, he runs into the end racism zone. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, okay, this is right. pretty gay. Yeah. I guess you're kind of right. I, which it's is, pretty retarded. Which is very funny. They they run into the like protect women zone and then punch their wife in the stands. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then get like no suspension mm-hmm. whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the Clippers just hired a guy who like fucking pulled a bow finger and just showed his dick to the Laker girls. Did they? Like five times. Yeah, the Clippers just hired a guy who played on the Spurs and he showed his dick to like 10 employees <laughs> and the Spurs fired him and the Clippers picked him They're up. They're going to need to start giving athletes like uh, like domestic abuse tenure mm. where like they're allowed to do it. Right. As long as they don't kill him. You, yeah, do, they, you do whatever you want. You can turn them into like those uh, troglodytes in Bone Tomahawk. Mm-hmm. You can cut off all their legs and turn them into like a waifu pillow. But you can't, you can't kill them. You do whatever you want. Because we... We need Urias on the mm-hmm. Dodgers right now. Yeah, we we need him. We need him pitching. Yeah, like but unfortunately, he beat the fuck out of his wife in public. Like Did he? Twice. Is he still playing now? No, no, he's done. He's forever. done. Yeah. Trevor Bauer too. Same thing. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. And they do it in public too. They beat the shit out of these people like at the mall. Yeah. Like yeah. Trevor Bauer was at like the uh, the messy game, like just beating, like just throwing baseballs at his wife's head. <laughs> Throwing sliders up his wife's pussy. Yeah, yeah it was like on camera, apparently. Yeah, do you fucking 98 outside. Backdoor pussy slider. Yeah. There's like an ump standing behind her. Yeah, dude, yeah. wearing his wearing his fucking wonky eye Was goggles. he actually on camera uh, hitting uh, his I think, wife? I think he did do it at an MLS game. That's... Like the messy game, and he was just like beating her with a sombrero or something. How do you start beating your wife? Do you start with like spitting? Very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an old hack joke. Do you do you jump right into just beating the shit out of her, or do you start like spitting in her face? I think you like, start, you start off, with spitballs. You start off with like little flicks on the knee. You go, fucking move. And that escalates. To, like, and then like three weeks later, it's like fucking move <laughs> like full blown. I think I would start with the classic like she's getting up to go get something in the kitchen and I put my leg out. <laughs> trip her. And I trip her in the living yeah. room. Yeah. I w- she eats shit. I would low tower my wife. I'd bring another husband in to crouch behind her. You and then push I'd push her. her over, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd pants my wife. Yeah. <laughs> Pull her pants up. Yeah. Your big stupid ass is hanging out. Dumb ass. Your big stupid ass. I don't even want to fuck it. <laughs> you dumb whore. If, I give my wife swirlies. Yeah. Wedgies. If you want to really like, uh, y- you could just trick, because people can't like, uh, you know, fetish shame you anymore. Mm. So you can convince her, you're like, I really want to like piss in your mouth and take a shit on your face. <laughs> like that would really just like, you yeah. hate, you hate yeah. them. <laughs> and, she's, and she's like, well, our marriage has kind of been on the rocks lately. So I guess I'll do it. And you're right. like, yeah, I just want to shit and piss on you all the time, <laughs> right. baby. And this is, I a- love you so much. <laughs> and this is a, this is a kink. Yeah. And you it's- can't kink shame me mm-hmm. or I'm going to yeah. cancel you. Yeah. And you're just pissing on you. You're like, you stupid fucking bitch. I hate your goddamn parents. Why do they come over so much? Fuck you. And you're like, that's a part. It's a part of the king. And she, yeah, she's like, well, it seems like you just hate me. And you're like, <laughs> you're being very close minded. <laughs> I feel like you hate me. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Shit, all shit and piss coming out of her mouth. And you're like, baby, it's called kink. And you're being very not woke right you're be, now. You're being, honey, you're being a Republican right now. Yeah. You're being a, a magtard, you're being, frankly. You're being MAGA. <laughs> yeah. You're being MAGA because you wouldn't let me hit you with this phone book in the in the nose. Yeah, you're, you're all puritanical now like Mike Pence <laughs> and, and that lot. Oh, he's got some pictures that are supposed to come out. Mike right. Pence? Gay sex stuff. Really? Of him having big, gay, big gay sex? Affair. You, can, oh, yeah. you can tell that guy's gay. Yeah. Sucking people off or gay sex? We can only hope that it's that. Yeah. You don't oh, my Lord. You don't look like the bad guy from Avatar without being gay. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. That doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we. it should be coming soon. That's he, great. I he, hope that comes out with Chris Christie, too. He looks like he's been holding cum up his ass for the entire Trump <laughs> presidency. <laughs> yeah. That's why his face looks like that, because he's trying to not leak cum out of his ass. He's a big cartoon cork in his ass. <laughs> hope it comes up Chris, Chris. Chris Christie's having an affair with a soda machine. <laughs> yeah, Chris Christie's having an affair with his own gun. <laughs> Chris Carrier, he's been cheating on his wife with his own fupa. <laughs> that guy... I don't think anyone's ever looked like bigger shit than him. <laughs> Did you see the picture of him with his pants? He <laughs> looks like utter shit. Uh, I know. I love him so much. Dude, I love... He's always at Roy Rogers. Uh, he looks... <sighs> dude, what's great about Chris Christie is he's fat from like the 1800s, you know? <laughs> he looks like a picture of Howard Taft. Like, nobody's fat like that yeah. anymore. It kind of rules. He's bathtub fat. He's bathtub fat. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like he he shifts. Mm-hmm. He doesn't walk. He shifts. Did you see his joke about Donald Trump? He yeah. keeps tweeting his and Donald keeps Duck tweeting thing. pictures of Donald uh, it's Duck. The worst thing, thing ever. Like, yeah, it's the worst thing ever. The, the the whole all these guys trying to be funny out of nowhere just to keep up with Trump is well, so sad. They always just try to get into memeing. Yeah, and stuff. It's there, the worst. There was a guy from the house. Meanwhile, like, Trump's killing it. By the way, this Absolutely. is his best. His He's be- destroying. His right best now. special yet has been like like this week. <laughs> his special. It's honestly been his best yeah. week like ever. <laughs> Netflix should start putting the boom boom <laughs> right the before. Boom, boom. I'm not his kidding, speeches. dude. It's like literally better than yeah. everything I've seen. I'm oh, like, dude, so good. Top of the year, probably Shane Gillis than Trump. Yeah. <laughs> right after. Literally. Yeah. No, he literally he's, he's like, what did they say? Impeach the motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> indict I, the motherfucker. Indict the motherfucker. Dude, I love he literally said motherfuckers like he was at Kramer at the Laugh Factory. <laughs> uh-huh. It made me laugh so hard. Yeah, I love when Trump goes black. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, he was doing bits too where he's like, he's like, Joe Biden, he walks up. He gets done with the speech. I know there's a stair right there. There's a stair there. I can leave. He, he starts walking around, bumbling around. Where's he going? <laughs> Where's he going? So Trump is finally getting, he's in his era where he's getting into act outs. Dude. Finally. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. It's like the Bill Burr Carnegie Hall special. He's really evolved as a comic, honestly. Like he's really started, <laughs> no, like, he's really started to eat up the space of the stage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's doing like bits. He's doing voice modulation. He's doing characters. I think I love him actually. He's I great. genuinely love him. Yeah. He's great. He just started reverse. He's he in he started talking about how rich he was, then got good at comedy, as opposed to getting good at comedy, then talking about how rich he right. is. And never being funny again. Yeah. Yeah. It's the path of every comedian is to yeah. be really good and then get rich and then never say a funny thing the rest of your entire and just life. Just talk about how rich you are yeah. constantly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And talk about how much you grinded and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about how you you work out all the time and like you you uh fucking you you got there on your own yeah and you're cool yeah you're on like shit loads of pills yeah to help you do it yeah. there was a guy from the house of representatives a democrat who um to stop a vote he pulled a fire alarm the other day oh yeah yeah that guy uh De bowman yeah i think yeah i just lo- i i think it's great i love that congress is it just it sounds like it's a big like fun house now it's turned into like a family circus cartoon yeah like it's just billy like running around the neighborhood AOC is walking up. People are just called like, hey, let me suck your fat ass, you Latino whore. <laughs> They're just having to deal with hecklers. Mm. And then they walk in and, you know, somebody shoots them with a paintball. Yeah. Lauren Boebert's getting like fingered with that gavel. Yeah. It's great. I love it. Oh, God bless Lauren Boebert. All those bitches are hot as shit, by the way. Mm. Abby Shapiro, all of them. I mean, good yeah. Lord. Except Mar- Marjorie Taylor Greene looks like a catcher's knuckle. Except for yeah. her. She looks yeah. like shit. <laughs> Yeah, she uh, she's a rough looking. She looks lady. like she has cauliflower ear on her whole face. Yeah, she looks God, like she looks like like shit. her mom's womb beat her. <laughs> yeah, she looks like a boxer who should have retired a couple years ago. <laughs> she looks like Tony Ferguson was a white lady. Yeah, I can't get enough of that Lauren Bober. Uh, God, imagine if we had the video in color. Oh God, oh, it's God. in black and white. And it's still great. I already I already jerked up to it. <laughs> It is great footage. <laughs> great stuff. First date, just jacking off of mm-hmm. a jacking off a man. Fucking mm-hmm. Yeah, it looked like me during the first year of COVID. Love that lady. Lauren Motor Bobert. <laughs> she is a delight. I know. God bless all these women that fucking suck and then run for Congress. I love that it's it's all so over that we just have like we have like legitimate like waitress whores like Dude, in Congress. It's good for us, by the way. Yeah, why? it's very well, like, eventually we're going to have to get, like, jobs at, like, Chick-fil-A or something once this is all, like, run its right. course, and, you know, like, 10 years or whatever. Yeah. And we need to, like, be employable. And fortunately, everyone will be so insane. No one will care. We had a show where we said, like, fag and retard for, like, 10 years. People will be like, so you're, like, the most qualified guy here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, like, well, yeah, that is true. Like, if we can if we can run this another five years, we'll be applying for, like, executive jobs. Mm-hmm. At companies, and be like, well, the other you did have a racist podcast, but the other applicant did have an OnlyFans where she fucked her dog <laughs> for like three years. So I think we made the right decision. Yeah, little do we know we're using this show to like springboard into like a cabinet position mm. in like seven years. Yeah, yeah. From a little tiny Fuhrer who's listening to the show currently, <laughs> I would do yeah. it. Yeah, I, I've always kind of had a dream of running for a local 
being a, a psychopath. Yeah, it does seem fun, a guy, right? a guy who really terrorizes a city hall. I, yeah, I would love <laughs> to be like an absolute psychopathic wannabe politician. That Pro- sounds so funny. Probably the, the, the floodgates are open now. To look at the city and just think I've taken money out of every single person's pocket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all in mine. I'd like now. to admit that shit too. <laughs> yeah. be like I'll steal from all of you one day. <laughs> I have like a flask. I'm like you fucking losers. You're right. making threats. You're peons. <laughs> Right, a corrupt politician, but you're making like eighty five thousand a year from being a piece of shit. Yes, like it's still all small potatoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're like a little Hitler mm-hmm. of your district. Mm-hmm. Devin yeah. would be a great mayor, but he just he wakes up every morning and he like he goes before the town hall and he just starts threatening them. <laughs> the only mayor in town that instead of making promises, he makes threats. Yeah. It's like if you don't start being nice to me and thinking I'm awesome, I'm I'm taking away. Wa- I'm turning the water off. <laughs> You don't think I won't dam up that river up in the mountain? We won't have water for... I'll turn off the water forever. You don't think I won't? I'll start a forest fire. Yeah, the first mayor to make a moderator cry because he called her a dumb, fat bitch. <laughs> I'd be like, no Laker game tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no Laker game unless LeBron quits. Yeah. Get him off the team. Man. Uh, well, you know... At least, like, Elon is getting cooler. Dude, he's so cool. Holy shit. He's so... He's so fucking sick, that guy. He's so fucking awesome. Holy fuck. Did you see he shot that sniper rifle? Yeah. Oh, my God. And he was wearing a gamer shirt. That's so cool. That picture of him at the border with his cowboy hat on. Dude. Yeah, looking like he's getting sucked off at a truck stop. <laughs> like POV sucking off a dead yeah, trucker. POV, you're looking through a truck stop glory hole mm-hmm. before you put your cock through it. You're, yeah, you're a lot lizard sucking off a trucker who has planner's warts <laughs> on his face. <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing a video game shirt, by the way, and a backwards cowboy hat. He's wearing a like I think he's wearing a Dead Space shirt or something like that. What's that? That's a that's an old. It's video like game? no, it's just a video game. He's just a fucking retard. Yeah, yeah we live in hell. <laughs> we live in hell. We live in such a hellish reality that like, I, why are people afraid of going to hell? Yeah, I don't know. I texted you guys I, yesterday. I said, if we woke up in hell, would we even know it? <laughs> right. And I texted you, maybe it would be better. <laughs> we would wake up, we'd be like, oh, why is my life so much greater? Yeah. Yeah. At least in hell, you don't have like retarded people getting mad at the devil, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tweeting at the devil that he sucks. <laughs> everybody's actually, everybody's tweeting that he rules. Yeah. Right now. Nobody in hell is shutting down the 405 to protest, I don't know, animals, animals or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in a town full of gay people. Oh, Anthony Camilla had a heart attack or something, or he has blockage. Yeah. yeah. Very sad about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very, very sad about that. Yeah. yeah. The, pro- the problem is his body's only producing white blood cells, folks. <laughs> yep. Damn right. Heard his heart got looted. <laughs> I think we all were immediately like, God, I hope he doesn't have a black nurse because he's in the hospital right now when they're like putting stuff in his heart. Mm -hmm. God, I hope he has a I hope he has a white Christian. Oh, he's in the hospital being like, can I get a black sir? Can I get a white surgeon? They're like, those don't exist anymore. He's like, "Hmm." best I can do is a guy who looks like Vivek Ramasamy. Swami, whatever. His oh, that guy sucks. Indian, ass, Indian Hitler, whatever his stupid name is. Indian Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. What is that? What is that guy's whole deal? Whole, whole deal. I don't really. I don't really pay that much attention. I just know he looks like. Um, God, who's the guy? Who's the comic who lied about? He looks like Hassan Verdoff. Minaj. Oh, Hassan Minaj. Yeah. Yeah. He looks like Hassan Minaj, but he goes, if elected, I will kill children who are gay. Mm-hmm. And Hassan yeah. got, he got, he, well, there was a whole article about he lied about all of his whole act, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. He told people he was funny and everyone was like, <laughs> that's a lie. They're <laughs> writing an article on that. He's probably lying about his race, by the way. Was it his lie like that his like, he he poured anthrax on his baby or yeah, something. Somebody, yeah, somebody uh, somebody mailed him anthrax and it dropped on his baby and he <sighs> had to take it. And the best part of the lie, the best part of the lie was that his wife confronted him and she goes, "I don't care about your Emmy. I don't care about your Peabody. All I care about is this family." 
And if this happens again, I'll leave you, which was a lie. Yeah. And it's funny that in his lie, He's... he made his wife bring up his credits. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's so great. Oh, they're all such a, bu- uh, a, right. a bunch of sociopaths. Like they he's telling are. the story. He's, he's like, my wife was like, I don't care about your six pack. I don't care about your cool shoes. I don't care that you fuck good. <laughs> if yeah. you harm my baby, I'm out of here. Truly, like just fucking like, you know, in Mean Girls, like remember the Indian kid in Mean Girls, the talent show, Kevin yeah. G. Yeah, Kevin G. That's ooh, like Kevin G. Ooh, Kevin G. It's like that's like what comedy was was with mm-hmm. Hassan Minaj mm-hmm. for years on end. It was just Kevin G live. Yeah. You know Hassan's funny because his hair is perfect. Mm-hmm. Every funny guy has their hair always looks perfect. Great clothes. Great mm-hmm. clothes. They smell good. That's mm-hmm. the funniest person you know. Very funny. Very presentable. I love Great they, smile. They perfect use, teeth. They use their hands too. Like they're rapping, you know? Yeah. Love that. Well, I'm constantly falling into a coma, so I need them to be like moving around a lot and doing like karate. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm constantly coming in and out. I'm comatose. I'm coming in and out trying to watch a comedy special on Netflix. Mm-hmm. There was a period anyway. of time where it was just, it was like him and it was a million other just Indian guys dominating comedy. They let him uh, they gave him a shot. You know, they they <laughs> threw him the threw him the rope for a little bit and then they took it right back. They <laughs> lied too much. <laughs> they took it right back, let me tell you. Yeah. They'll they'll never give the Muslims a shot, by the way. Well, they had their chance. Because Indians are like the white like are whiter than Muslims, so they yeah. gave Muslims a chance. Yeah, when they like, gave Muslims a chance, six seven years ago. I mean, like you know, if you were if you were you know a part of like the United ninety three bombing, you had like a show on Netflix. <laughs> oh yeah, how could I forget? How could you forget those days? How could I forget on. that? Yeah, I just I don't remember ever like turning on the TV and it's like a new like Muslim stand up special. I don't think I've ever seen that before in my life. Where am I like blanking completely? No, I mean, they just bury all of these specials because they truly don't give a shit. Yeah, I guess you're right. They're like, we just have to book enough people who look brown that we can make Game of Thrones 5. I guess at this point, it's kind of like me going, did it rain three weeks ago? (laughs) Yeah. Like, it's all pointless shit. It's just shit after shit after shit. Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. The writer's strike was for six months and nobody noticed. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah, we were told we were all going to suffer greatly from this. Mm Mm-hmm. And from what I can tell, there's a bunch of great movies coming out in October. Yeah, no, it, I don't really understand what stopped. Sounds great to me. Scorsese's movie. Scorsese's not striking. Out. Sounds good to me. The strike for him. The strike was just for people that, you know, jiggle keys on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just shapes and numbers. Just, people that are, they go, they go for 30 minutes on ABC every night, they read popsicle stick jokes. <laughs> it's a bunch of people on TV going, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't even they, do that, actually. Yeah. Somebody, somebody doing the fart thing in the armpit. Yeah, but they, they're a black lesbian. Yeah, they do the. Far- <laughs> they sit on a whoopee. They sit on a whoopee cushion. They go protect trans kids, protect them, y'all. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, Jace, did you? By the way, what happened to your car? Is your car? Oh toast? yeah, I wanted. I wanted to tell you guys about this. This was very funny. So my car, my 07 Corolla, um, might be dead. Um. I had to drive it because my gr- my girlfriend came out and she was doing like a school trip, you know, because she does that like, you know, she does that like thing where we're going to go fuck a bunch of dolphins for, you know, science or whatever. Yeah. And That's she was, what girls do. That's what yeah. white women be doing. Mm-hmm. That's what wh- white women be fucking them dolphins. Mm-hmm. White women love Thai food and dolphins. Mm-hmm. Which that- is funny. They are. They're always saving the one uh, animal that rapes. <laughs> it's very <laughs> interesting. Dolphins are the only animal that like they that love rapes. ducks too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they love duck. ducks. Duck, ducks, ducks, just to kill and rape. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, cats, cats rape as cats well. Cats are insane. It's true. Cats actually. literally have a dick designed to rape. It's got a big <laughs> horn in it. It like grabs onto the inside of a pussy. Yeah, yeah. So they, they like what they claim to hate, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you guys, we caught them they, with their pants down. They claim to hate it. Well, we we got them. Yeah, I, I think we know what's best for. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think we know. We know, and that's why we should be president. Yeah. Um, no, but I had to drive out to. We we spent a couple days together, and I drove her to Santa Barbara, which is like three hours away. Came back, and then went to go pick her up. So we were going to spend a, like a night on the beach. Like I rent a hotel, nice hotel, just so I could you know dump my evil seed inside of her. Just say to have a romantic night. With your- like no, that's e- what we that's what we call it. My evil seed, like your cum is dark red. 
has horns. That's what we call it. I was like, hey, do you want me to drop? Uh, do you mind if I drop a bunch of vile goo inside you? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, I know, you know, we spent a couple uh, nights together and I filled you up with my poison goo. <laughs> <laughs> but what if after you're done watching all those dolphins rape penguins? Oh, man. The Bible really did a number on us, by the way. Oh, no, I think I'm fine. <laughs> I think I'm fine. <laughs> so I was like, supposed to be a beautiful thing. We're like, I'm evil yeah, for wanting to fuck. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sin. <laughs> I'm going to dump sin in you. That's what I say when I'm coming. <laughs> I'm going to make uh, hell. I'm going to hell for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's totally worth it. <laughs> yeah. So I was driving um, out to pick her up, and I, I I was getting, I was pulling into Santa Barbara, and literally every light on my fucking dashboard lit up at the same time. And I was like, well, that's not good. So I pulled, I just pulled into a mechanic real quick. I was like, can you read the little, you know, cause they can read the computer on the thing. Oh yeah. The diagnostic. Yeah. And it was like, cause I had to pick her up after this like conference and I just pull into the last place. I go, Hey, can you just read the thing for me? And it was like this very, like very thick cello woman. Like I was getting distracted by how she just had huge tits and a huge ass. Mm -hmm. And she just like kind of waddled out of the car. Like literally her tits were like sh <laughs> shaking on either side of her. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't even care that like I might be fucking, you know, destitute. She looked like she walked off of the calendar in the in the in the place yeah. where you pay. She <laughs> <laughs> no, but she looked like I walked into Dodger Stadium and I went, her. She's the one I'll fuck. <laughs> you get to stand on the pitcher's mound and look out, and yeah. you picked like one a, lady. Yeah, like it's a like it's a Gaddy's like <laughs> yeah, like it's a CC's Pizza token or something. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, oh, your transmission's like fucked. And I was like, that's bad, right? And she's like, yeah, that's like the whole thing that makes the car go. <laughs> I was like, hmm. And it's like, it's literally like a $6,000 repair. Yeah. So I was like, uh, I was like, God, well, this car costs like fucking $1,500. And I'm in Santa Barbara. And I was still sick. I was, I was sick driving out to pick up my girlfriend to make goo inside of her. <laughs> 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 so i literally I, I i checked it and the car was like the car was like sputtering like it was it was revving all over the place yeah, yeah yeah and i checked in and i was like i was like god it's like i was literally like i'm like i just want to push this into the fucking ocean because six thousand dollars to replace i'm I like have to get a new car yeah yeah, yeah you might as well get a new car yeah, yeah. it's got like two hundred fifty thousand miles on it um, Unless that car is like sentimental value or something. Like I've pissed I mean, in a lot of bottles in this thing. You have yeah. pissed in a lot of bottles in that car. Listen, I got sucked off a couple times in that car. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're you got a big stinky seventeen year old car. It's time to put her to bed. It really, I mean, the car does suck ass. It, it has gotten to the point where. Listen, we all hate the car. Listen, Katie. <laughs> I told Katie earlier that I might have to get a new car, and she goes, "Thank." god <laughs> she goes can i fuck it up she literally said can i hit it with a hammer i was like well there's a lot of nice memories and i used to take pride in that that i drove an old i still drove my first car yeah and like seven years ago it was like oh it's cute i'm driving an 07 and now it's like i'm the guy on the road where i can see other people be like oh my god yeah <laughs> i can see like when i drive up next to people they're like i thought this was a good neighborhood what's going on <laughs> It's like sandblasted, and yeah, but yeah, I can't get the Cheeto smell out of it. Yeah, you have like mushrooms growing on the side of your car. You have one of those cars that's so shitty, it looks like there's always 11 <laughs> people inside of it. <laughs> At, any given, At any given moment. My car looks like it's being driven by a coyote over the border. Uh -huh. Like it has all these yeah. places to hide tiny Mexicans. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and it smells like my balls the whole time. Yeah. So I literally was like, but I was like, fuck, I can't like, I have to like get it back home. I guess to like because I can't just like I want to leave it here drive all the way back to LAX the next morning and then drive like three hours all the way back so I just was googling it and I I read like oh sometimes it can be the transmission fluid so I checked the transmission fluid filled it back up pretended my girlfriend I knew what that was the whole time sure so like I could seem cool and she'd want me to make goo in her mm -hmm. <laughs> and then <laughs> And then I was literally, I was like, okay, the check engine light came off. So I, I was like, I guess we'll try it. And I literally realized I was in the plot of Sorcerer, that movie we watched. Oh, oh yeah, my God, yeah. the freaking. Yeah, uh, like I literally William just, I have to get 200 miles in like this fucking beat up. 
It's a movie sorcerer, but it's a perfectly fine highway and a car I can afford to replace, but mm-hmm. I refuse not to because of depression. Yeah. Yeah, but the only thing is if you hit a bump that's too big, your foot is going to go through the floorboard mm-hmm. and hit the asphalt and rip off. Mm-hmm. I've felt that in your car that I'm like, I can put my foot through this right now. Yeah. It's called an antique. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to I'm going to sell my it's car. It's a to classic J- car. Jay Leno would be driving my car around. <laughs> like it's an old fire truck. <laughs> And so I was driving it. I was driving it back to Thousand Oaks, and it was doing fine. And I was like, "Oh, I guess the car's like fixed." And then we got up to that. You know, there's that big gradient from Santa Barbara right before you get into Thousand Oaks. Yeah, and like Ellen DeGeneres built yeah, it. Yeah, the yeah, keep up the hill. Uh, middle class people. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Ellen DeGeneres' house slid like eight feet down it mm-hmm. during the floods. Yeah, into and her was, pussy. Yeah, into her pussy. A bunch of slaves escaped. <laughs> Yeah, they found a bunch of Indian bones from where her house originally was. <laughs> it's Killers of the Flower Moon with yeah. Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah, just her comedy writers. <laughs> and I just got to the gradient, and that was when I realized it, it was actually broken because I was like, I was literally like revving it, and I could hear the engine going, like, but it was going like 40 miles an hour up the hill in the slow lane. So I just like coasted it into Thousand Oaks, and then I I just dropped my girlfriend off at her dad's house. Mm-hmm. So you could take her. And then I, it was very funny when I dropped my girlfriend off at my dad's house. I like checked the, I didn't need to do this. I just opened the hood and I checked the fucking transmission fluid. And I go, just because he was outside. And I go, just checking the transmission fluid. <laughs> it's looking like it's running a little hot. So that could be. <laughs> yeah, you dip your finger in it. And you pull out a bone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A bone. I was like, yeah, it's running a little hot. <laughs> Except you have the trunk open. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what a retard. He walks right in. Dude, you know what was the funny part? He was at, He was literally like, he's like, oh, it's good. Good, good. Like, I could feel he like actually respected me a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I pretended to know what was happening. Yeah, you got to fake stuff like that. No, you really yeah. do. Yeah. I was like, I know what a transmission is. It's this knob that YouTube, an Indian guy on YouTube told me about yesterday. Yeah. Boy, am I happy that Ida's dad is dead. <laughs> yeah, thank God for cigarettes. I yeah. got away with it easy. Thank you really, God. You really have it I easy. Had no fucking guy that looked like Borat going, like, you treat her right. <laughs> Get away from me, hummus hands. <laughs> fucking I'll fuck your daughter all I want. <laughs> Give a shit. You had her, you fucking treat her like shit. Now she's mine. <laughs> was, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a, a guy who's like, yeah. I, I, I treat my dad like shit. I treat her like shit for 20 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are not abusive enough. <laughs> Teaching me how to hit her. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna draw Muhammad with my tongue <laughs> on her clit, <laughs> bitch. How about that? Yeah. How about I'm going to draw Muhammad with my tongue on her clit, How bitch? about I chop her clit off when I want, buddy boy? <laughs> <laughs> Buster. He goes, how come you know on car wash? On car wash. <laughs> Don't do podcasts. Uh yeah, so I just uh, I drove it over here still, but I got to take it to the mechanic on Monday, and it'll, it'll probably be trash. And I got to get a new car finally. Yeah. So, how are you? How'd you make it here? Yeah. How the fuck did you get here? It took a while, you know. It so took, it just goes slow, kind of. It just like doesn't really go it that just fast. Really are you just kind of rear ended to my home? Like you, like you, you are just keep, you keep yeah. getting pushed down the tin. It's like Little Miss Highway, Little Miss Sunshine. I have to like push the car to start it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. So when do you? What do you think you're gonna get? I think I'm gonna get a. I think I'm gonna get a Transit Connect. You're yeah. gonna get that van. Yeah. Oh, let me look this up. Let me see what kind of harebrained scheme you have cooked up. <laughs> Why are you so dead set on this? Uh, on this? Uh, this van. Jace? I know what Jace is thinking. He's trying to get a car where he can get sucked off inside of that's it. Exactly he's a what freak. That's exactly what. You want to put a bed in the back? That's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm gonna put a bed in the back, and What's I'm gonna. It it's called a Transit Connect. You can get them. There's like used ones for like ten grand, Jace, fifteen you can't grand. Get this You're gonna get shit. this car is used to transport handicapped people. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I'm getting it, dude. This is what they they bring people like around the old folks no, home. No, dude, this, this is like this they is drop perfect. them off from one is, wing of the old yeah. folks home to another. No, dude, this is perfect. So my girlfriend's moving in with me. When we go somewhere, she's gonna drive. I'm gonna be in the back watching porn and jacking off. <laughs> it's a mobile gun <laughs> game. Laying down. It's a mobile. I've always, my whole life, I've been too big to fuck in my car, and I've always resented it. And now I'm finally gonna get. To Are you it. gonna get like a fairly new one? No, I'm gonna get a real piece of real shit. Piece of shit. I'm gonna, dude, I'm such. This is what I do. If you get this yellow one, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. Dude. I'm gonna kick you off the show if you get the yellow one. <laughs> 
I'm gonna get this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy one that's really old because I'm a cheap bastard, even mm-hmm. though I can pay for a new one in cash, and then it's immediately gonna cause problems. Yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna pour more more money into it by buying the, the super new old ones are one. pretty nifty. Yeah, I don't like that. I want something old but and yeah, clunky. They, so this is what the back looks I mean, what the fuck are you gonna put in there? A mattress and a TV to play porn on. <laughs> It's going to be my goon wagon. <laughs> oh, no. It's so funny. It isn't a bit. You're actually going to buy no, this. No, dude, I'm telling you, what we're going to do is you're going to, like, we're going to be having a record day. You're going to go out in the morning on a record day. You're going to see I drove there in the night, and you just, you just see the thing shaking because I'm in the back of it jacking off. It's yeah, because you hate traffic. You're getting there early. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I drive there at midnight, and I jack off for a, a day, and then I walk inside, and we record. Are you pretty dead set on this? I've been, I've been thinking about it. He's going to do it, Devin. Don't yeah. stop him. Just let him do it. Yeah, two that perfect. Yeah, I'm, I was. I know what year you're going to do already. Mm-hmm. You're going to get one with 199,000 you know miles. You know what I thought? You know what this I th- one right here. This is what you're getting. You Can piece I tell of you? Shit. It looks like Flint, Santa Michigan. Charita, it looks grand. like if a car was Flint. <laughs> Yeah, this is the the, the lady like the from Barbarian. <laughs> lady listen, from Barbarian who like uh, feeds babies. Listen, and stuff. when you guys need to move a cabinet somewhere, <laughs> and you come calling, I'm gonna remember this. This is the guy who loves estate sales buys this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you should have it. You're gonna need this for your retarded children one day. So <laughs> you're gonna be trying to get this for me on a deal. Yeah, because that is like a it's. That's so easy to put like crutches and fold up wheelchairs and put it in the back there. Exactly. Exactly. Put a whole mattress, go camping, jack off, you know, on in Joshua Tree. Yeah. I guess this is kind of nice to have, Jace, if you become disabled one day and your girlfriend is, has to become your caretaker. Which is definitely, which is, can I tell you, that's part of my plan when she moves in. <laughs> is this, is so that I, tra- I trap her in an emotional web is that I pretend to become crippled. I'm going to be one of those guys where I like, I, I, say my le- I can't move my legs yeah and then the doctor's like no I'm faking but they can't say that because they'll get sued <laughs> it does look like a car that doesn't have like a pedal like yeah. you you pu- you drive it with a button yeah like you have to push a wire into <laughs> the battery to make people. It, yeah. <laughs> well here's one for 10 grand it's in bellflower it's mm-hmm. a 2012 with 100,000 miles it's really not bad it is yellow but hey man i'd be losing money not I getting it i just didn't know car. jace had this fantasy of putting a bed in the back of his car before I vote listen for years. You've always thought about this. Before the podcast took off, if if I didn't meet my girlfriend, I honestly might be living in a van of my own volition. <laughs> I mean, we're doing okay. You don't need a car that looks like you sell sodas. <laughs> I sell sodas one by one. I'm a human soda machine. Dude, these are the people that buy these hunks of shit. Look yeah, at this. they seem really. Look at these people. Well, they're, seem... they're they're both dead. They both they both killed each other on a road trip. Well, yeah, that's Larry. That's... There, it's Gabby Petito. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Alexander Supertramp and his girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> they starved on a bus. Oh, Are these people even real? Yeah. Can I tell you, I I did have a thought for for a second just to piss you guys off because I yeah. have an 07 Corolla. If I have to get a new one. I thought it'd be funny to buy a 2008 Toyota Corolla. <laughs> I got a new one. I go one year up. <laughs> it's the exact same. <laughs> okay, I found it. There's a Reddit for people who are really into transit. Connect. Oh, of course. Yeah. There's a Reddit for everything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. And it's going to be the same as r slash cigarettes. Yeah, it's all like, just uh, just cop this puppy. <laughs> Just got this puppy. Gonna kill Just myself. Got, this, in it. got got the new 2013 Ford Transit. <laughs> it holds all my anacondas. I'm on top all time right now. And some guy goes, "Just join the club." And it's a picture of his shitty. Just Ford join Transit. the club, brother. There's plenty of room for my pythons. <laughs> this guy goes, "Welcome." I'm at 105,000 miles already in my 2016. Right. Haven't had a single problem yet, except one recall. The next, the I've next, had one problem yet. However, it has been recalled. Can I tell you? <laughs> that means you had to send it back to the dealership. There wasn't can any I, problem in it, but the airbags did go off at a stoplight, and my wife's femur went through her fucking head. <laughs> can I tell you? By the way, my Toyota was so shitty. I had a yeah. I was gonna say that comments me. Can you fit a twin bat- mattress in the back? And a, the guy a says, twin. And the guy says, "Haven't tried or measured yet, but I believe so." <laughs> He's like, I can tell by just with my eyes alone, buddy. Mm-hmm. Just my eyes alone. Mm. No, I was. That's also how shitty my Toyota was. Is that it had a recall for three years? I just refused to take in. Yeah, and they kept 
hounding me. They called me every day because they don't want to get sued if you if you something happens. They like have to, and it's free, and I just never did it. And then I finally took it in, and I was like, "What's this recall for?" And they're like, "Oh, the uh, the airbags uh, have this like metal thing. If you got in an accident, just like just tear you to Drop bits, like your head grenade. off." <laughs> And I was just driving around for three years with a grenade in my steering column. <laughs> it really was, I was like just, sorcerer. I know, because I was just being a stupid piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, that's my car. It's depression meals. Yeah, I was on r slash depression meals the other day, and I realized how fucked up I used to be because some of the depression meals were my go-to meals like like five years ago. Mm-hmm. Guy cutting up hot dogs and putting them in mac and cheese while they're boiling. I thought that was like a good dinner. Apparently, I, that's I a still, meal you make when you decide you're not going to kill yourself that day. I still think that's kind of good. By the way, I want to kill myself when I use a stove or I can't see the fire. <laughs> I know. That, that is, makes me depressed. Yeah. I need to like see the fire. I, know. I have a coil stove right now. I hate it so much. Is it? Yeah, where it just gets red. It just gets red. I don't like that. Sucks ass. I don't like that one bit. No. Uh, Look how great this is, Devin. Yeah, that knife looks awesome. Wife disappeared. It's my birthday. And he's, <laughs> he's eating a mustard sandwich with a Caesar salad. Oh, God. Nothing worse than when you're depressed, but you're still trying to get fiber. <laughs> yeah. And retweets. Oh, God. Look at that. Look at that. It's gas station a- sushi and a sushi. Tim Hortons. Not bad. Having McDonald's alone, that kicks ass. That looks awesome. That's not a depression meal at all. He blocked me after I gave him my virginity. And it's a... Uh, well, don't act like your virginity was a special thing. Yeah. You're okay. eating an activity and a yeah, donut. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Who's eating an activity at hopefully like 21 years old? Yeah, you're like a shit commercial. You're like a commercial for shitting. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to overdose yesterday. Still woke up today. Only today, one person doesn't feel like anyone cares. Still fuzzy and light. Yeah, because you told one person, you fucking <laughs> narcissist. Hope you die from that burger. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you, after you sent me this, I just... Because I was thinking about how there's um, subreddits for everything. I just yeah. went to... Just like some whatever popped in my head, I went to r slash burger and I sorted by most controversial all time. <laughs> <laughs> most controversial burgers. <laughs> and I was just, dude, I was cracking myself up looking at these shitty burgers <laughs> and people getting so mad at these burgers. <laughs> it's r slash controversial. Controversial burgers. <laughs> For r slash burgers, dude, it was so funny. It was like a guy like made a burger in like two pieces of bread and it had like shit on it and people were like this isn't a fucking burger kill yourself <laughs> some of these depression meals look okay no that's what's really bummed me out about r slash depression meals is i realized that some people decide they're not going to take their own life and then they cook a better dinner than i've ever made <laughs> ever <laughs> on my best day mm-hmm. yeah look this is i used to eat this all the time that's not a bad meal Sure, it tastes pretty good. Yeah, the mac and cheese and hot dogs. That's fucked up, right? This person was going to kill themselves, and Listen, then they made this. It's Here's my thought. It's they didn't not, mix it. It's not the meal. It's who's eating it. <laughs> yes. That turns... Because you know why? Wow, yeah. This is what Brad Pitt ate in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and you're like, that's the coolest guy I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. that's true, actually. If Bella Hadid is eating macaroni and cheese and hot dogs, you're like, that's really cool. And if it's any fat person, you're like, they should kill themselves. Thank you, Jason. You made me feel a lot better, actually, yes. about myself. It's not the meal. It's the person. Mm. So... Well, how about that? Because everyone, like, we're scrolling through, and person's like, had two pop cards, pop tarts. It's my birthday, and he left me. And it's like, yeah, you, you suck. Why are you posting this on Reddit? You suck. You're posting on Reddit that you're sad. Mm-hmm. You, you're, you suck. You suck. You are. Every meal you eat is a depression meal because you have depression. Right. Yeah. It is be kind of beautiful. The I mean, the craft mac and cheese looks looks so fucking good. The hot dog's disgusting, honestly. But like, mix, yeah. mix them in, get them a little cheesy. They could use a, like you know if they do like a fancy sausage and like a little Annie's mac and cheese. That's not a bad yeah, meal. Yeah. Yeah. And then what you do is you take a little grated a little grated Parmesan, you sprinkle that over the top. Mm-hmm. You know, kind of give it like a little bit of a. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, two cheeses competing together. Maybe oh, some panko, it. some panko breadcrumbs. Some breadcrumbs. Oh man, Tabasco hot sauce. Ooh, you're Tabasco guy, are you? Ooh, baby, I love hot sauce. I love Tabasco. Tapatio can kiss my ass. Yeah. I like Tapatio more myself. Oh, you're. Yeah, fucking... I think Tabasco's for the whites. Well, yeah. you're a capital F, it my is... friend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's. If we weren't recording right now, just you, you, I would just say a, a couple choice words, my friend. You ever left Tabasco? Shut up, faggot. <laughs> you ever left Tabasco out and then you just see the vinegar yeah. at the bottom and the red the spices turns the into like devil cum. Yeah, it's really yeah. it's it's odd looking. <laughs> so, so Can you go to controversial burgers? <laughs> 
yeah, yeah, yeah. How, wait, I just go to r slash burgers. <laughs> yeah, you don't overthink it. Just go to r slash burgers. <laughs> okay. R slash burgers. Yeah, like any yeah. step by I was, step. I, dude, I was literally looking at this like just randomly. We're doing kind of a longer app now, but I'm having fun. And yeah, I'm we're f- having a we're having a fun time. Having the pe- fun with the it. people want to see r slash burgers and sort by most controversial all time. So how do you do most controversial? Because I didn't even know you could do that. Do you type in controversial? You click on the three dots. Hold I on, think. real quick, go down. I want to see that 4x4. Yeah. Four four. Oh, 4x4 four four for a minute. Oh, half. what a delight. That's a beautiful 4x4. Four four. Well, it's a great pick. No too. tomato, Holy though. I don't shit. like that. Five. Now, go go back up. I'll just stick my cock in between. <laughs> yeah. It looks like my cunt. Okay, where click am I going? Click on top. Maybe that'll dr- drag it down. I'm on top right now. Does it not let you do it on the browser? Maybe. So what if I oh, what if I did this? I just go into the Con- type type controversial, yeah. Good thing I'm smart enough to know how to uh, spell controversial. Here, Here we, we go. go. Controversial. controversial and then go all time. Now we're cooking with gas, my friend. <laughs> 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 it's just a patty that's like raw. And he goes, "Am I doing this right? <laughs> Am I doing this right?" <laughs> this is like pissing people. What? Off. It looks like a Cronenberg. Well, film. Also, why is he filming it so close? Back away, retard. Man. And then look at the look. There's at the, no audio. By look, the way, thirty six comments, no upvotes. <laughs> <laughs> is this from today or? Oh, this is all time. Okay. Yeah, this is all time. Uh, promoted uh, cheeseburger keep, with pickle and no, onions. No, no, keep going down. Keep going down. Cheeseburger with pickles and onions. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like utter shit. Oh, that rolls. The patty uh, is like is the size of a pebble. <laughs> how do you not know how to make a burger? Like, if you can't make a good cheeseburger at home, you're a fucking moron. You should take your own life. <laughs> that sucks ass. That's terrible. We we like to do a dude, little trolling. Dude, it was like it was like eleven PM but I was just cracking up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> keep keep scrolling. I don't think that one's too keep scrolling. That's like a stupid video. Deep fried Heinz? Ugh. Oh god, <laughs> look at that. It's just a very plain burger. Dude, that looks like the burger that killed the health inspector in SpongeBob. <laughs> It's like it's like gray. That's oh, so sad. That is so sad, dude. It's a grayscale burger. <laughs> Just a plain burger. Mm-hmm. Look, fourteen comments. Oh, no yeah. love, folks. I want to see everybody. <laughs> what are the comments? About it. This burger is depressed. So plain. Not even the camera acknowledges its presence. <laughs> I gotta give it to the people on Reddit. They are witty. And Op goes yes. Someone says even the cat won't touch it. Very good. Very good. Someone goes, the cat is the cat is not happy about this burger. <laughs> Someone goes, Grim. Literally the default burger. Literally. That's a very sad burger. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I've always said that the, I always imagine these people, it's like the end of American Beauty where he's looking yeah. at the photograph, but they're typing their comment on Reddit and just slowly a gun <laughs> comes <laughs> into <laughs> Yeah, it might as well. It but just blows the back of their head off. I mean, look at this. This guy put peanuts. Peanuts and like car- gravy or caramel on that burger. Uh, smash mushroom and Swiss. Caramelized onions, brown gravy, and peanuts. Even better with cashews. That guy is a domestic terrorist. <laughs> hmm, peanuts wow. in a burger. That is certainly something I hadn't thought about, but I'm curious enough to want to try it. Everyone that comments on Reddit... They're the only people that get killed by stray bullets like that fall from the sky, like on July 4th. <laughs> yeah, they're the only people. <laughs> it's like a throw up burger. <laughs> Chili burger. With like an oatmeal bun. Jesus Christ, these people. They eat like dogs. Oh, God. This is Jesus. not. Oh, somebody sincerely commented. This is not appetizing to me at all. <laughs> Granted that I'm not the world's greatest fan of chili burgers, dogs, but this chili looks not good, and the lighting isn't helping. Also, I can't tell if that burger is slider size or is that skewer gigantic. Damn. I mean, we could only hope he was yeah. standing on a stool as he typed <laughs> that. Dude, my f- my favorite is when you re- you're reading a thread in like mm. this, and you see somebody deleted their comment. Just the idea that somebody types something and then later they're like, that was too me. And I got it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Devin C. Look, Ooh, at, the look, at these, Ranger. look at these retards. I tell you, they love Voodoo Ranger. You're right. You're right. Our but re- hey, our, I, our needed, loves a I needed a quick 9%. All right. 
I needed a real quick night. Oh, you do drink beer with a, a army skull guy on it. Mm-hmm. Trying to drink less. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, Devin taking me out to the bar, though, it's bringing back so many great memories. By the way, I didn't try and make I didn't. I don't want people to think like I'm like, like I'm no, but you are. I'm doing I, a slow. No, I'm, I accept. No, you came out. I accept. And then everyone we hung out with drank and went to a bar. We actually didn't go to a bar. We went yeah. to a burger place. It was a gastro pub. That served. It's beer. called a gastro pub. They served beer. You mental retard. Right. It's gastro called a gastro pub. pub. And then you, you bought Ben a beer and you go, hey. I dare you. Hey, go, I go. He gave me two. If you want, I don't know. Devin's doing the. <laughs> Devin's doing the thing where he's like, "Hey, put your hand out real quick," and he places the beer on top of my hand, mm-hmm. or I have to drink it to get my hand out from mm-hmm. under it. Hey, not my fault. Mm. Not my fault. Yeah. No, no, no. And then he he paid that that uh that cocaine day laborer guy to suck he, you he off. He paid that crack I paid him addict to come day over. laborer guy that guy to come over and try to suck me off, so mm. I relapse. That guy's doing the podcast now. Yeah. The cocaine I gave day, yeah. boy, day labor. Yeah, he's doing gutter oil with John off right now. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Oh, John had to end that. Oh, he ended that podcast. He ended it because the guy he did it with, like, he got, he went. Yeah, fifty one fifty. It's worse. The guy he went viral for a video where he was eating crab in the shower, like he was eating a crab leg in the shower, and he went uh-huh. viral for it. And then he was like, "Listen, we can't do this podcast because like my career is about to blow up." <laughs> Because <laughs> he had a whole channel where he eats food in the shower. Uh, and he's like, listen, John, what we do, much too retarded. I have a career about to take off. Oh, yeah. I've seen that guy where he's like day 34 eating cake in the shower. Yeah. That's yeah. the guy John was doing a podcast yeah. with? That's really good. That's much better than their podcast they did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I guess he, I think he had some fans. Who knows? Yeah, well, good for him. He's performing at the VMAs now. <laughs> Yep. Eating crab in a big bathtub. <laughs> it was just so funny. John couldn't even keep his own podcast going. The guy abandoned him because he's like, sorry, I'm professionally sucking off homeless people. <laughs> yeah. I have to eat crab under a freeway overpass. Sorry, but I'm a, I am mean, I eat a, I eat imitation crab meat in the bathtub now. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, Hollywood's coming knocking pretty soon. Listen, John, sorry, but I got a career doing home amputations. <laughs> I just chop my limbs off at home and I film it. Yeah, I eat my own dick at the circus, so <laughs> can't really do the pod anymore. Yeah, I'm going to have to, uh, we're going to have to part ways. I'm a death doula. <laughs> I, uh, I help people enter the afterlife, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I help their spirit give birth into the afterlife, yeah. so, uh, yeah, I'll be checking out, John, I think. John, I love doing the podcast. Unfortunately, my burger just hit top controversial on Reddit, so... <laughs> <laughs> I got to think about my career. My burger just hit top controversial. <laughs> most con- not to brag, my burger is most controversial on r slash burgers. For the second time. For the s- replacing the second place, which was also me. Yes. On r slash burgers. Nice. Oh, man. Oh, we forgot to put the sign on. What sign? Oh, the. Ah, sh- all I- right, let's do a whole new app. It must have just turned off at some wow. point. It's a piece of shit. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> Whatever, it's a piece of shit. I'm gonna like fuck it later. I'm gonna like drill a hole and yeah. put my cock through it because it sucks. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Fuck, <laughs> fuck that. It's fuck. fuck that. It fucking sucks. This is gonna be the podcast in five years, dude. <laughs> fuck that. It's gay, dude. It's gay and retarded, <laughs> dude. I was getting my dick sucked on by a fan. Dude, fucking bitch. <laughs> dude, I think that was a guy. No, it was a girl. I don't know, dude. I was on whippets. I don't give a <laughs> shit. You're doing whippets and getting sucked off yeah. by two straight dude. guys who listen to the podcast. Dude, I was at Skank Fest. I was getting sucked off by dudes on whippets. <laughs> Love guys, guys that are they're such fat uh, drug addicts, they still can't throw away the memory of whipped cream. <laughs> at Skank Fest, still somehow getting high off of sweets. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh man, yeah. yeah. I think that might be about starting to get a little loopy. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Is this the Patreon? 
I think this is the public one, weirdly. <laughs> weirdly. I think we, we talked, said rape too much. We on talked the other way one. too much about, yeah, the, yeah R the R word on the other That's one. That's true. I'm not talking about retard. And then you tried to do it again on this episode. Yeah, you tried to force it on this one, too. You I mean, let's not <laughs> act like we don't say rape on every show. Okay. You All right. Okay. Okay, babe. Okay. <laughs> you turn into Dennis Miller. Okay, babe. If I remember correctly, you were defending, ra- like you represented oh, rape well, in the court of keep law. Keep saying it no, on this very, episode, so we can as make a this one public. Character. Sure, it was a bit. A human cartoon. Obviously, character. but the AI machines and and the folks that are in control of the Matrix. But here's what that. I don't understand. We have such an arbitrary. Like every episode, we do say that word, like all the time. Yeah. So I don't get what's different about it week to week. You yeah, know? maybe Devin's right. So maybe feeling. we could just put it I'm out. I'm not saying right we should. We could do put out whatever. I'm just saying this whole thinking, I have no clue anymore what, yeah, these, I don't know. what these robots want. I, don't I think know I think this one is the public yeah, one to yeah. me. So Well, yeah. Jace would know. He's the he's somehow the most sober out of all three of us, and he's been drinking like literally he's been drinking cough syrup the all day. Oh, have you? That's right. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Jace is like on the level right now. Yeah. Jace is, Jace is using performance enhancing drugs right now. He's on. I'm on Wellbutrin, cough syrup, yeah. Zens. He's all. He's, I'm tricking, he's fucking L.A. sober. Dude. I'm drinking electrolytes right now. L.A. Yeah. sober. I'm L.A. On, sober. I'm on CBD. L.A. sober. Yeah. 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 I'm That's, Amish sober. I'm actual sober. Is that mm-hmm. L.A. sober or is that like Atlanta sober? That's uh, that's Houston sober. Houston. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're Mike Joe yeah. sober. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, go Dolphins, go Fins. You know, we had a rough day oh, yeah, today. Yeah, go but, to, yeah, uh, we love you, whoever's right. listening. Send us more merch and stuff. Well, patreon.com slash live and party. Uh, live and party clips channel is where we do the live streams every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Devin is at Hey Watch Pod. Mm-hmm. Jace is at Sad Drawings by Jace. Uh, there's Emma hopping into frame. She wants to say goodbye to all the folks at home. And uh, I tip my cat to the uh, May. May. Boy. May you voyage throughout the week, and may you you tr- you tr- you, tr- you weary oh, traveling. Just in the oh, show, boy. <laughs> just in the goddamn show. Unbelievable. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Try and come up with anything. Say something. <laughs> yeah, so, Boy, I'm gay and wow, I'm retarded. Yeah. Okay, and, do Louis voice and say you're gay and retarded. Real I'm, quick. I'm I'm fucking gay and I'm fucking I fucking fucked my daughters. Totally, totally, like like not even. I'm like, like a bad. guy guy totally like down I'm a bad guy because i was supposed to end the podcast <laughs> but i kept talking and i didn't have a bit so i said i'm gay and i'm retarded God, you're blocking the door to this podcast yeah, jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> right, everybody, which louis never did love you yeah which he never did and even if he did who cares uh, yeah you listen to the patreon <laughs> <laughs> let's wave goodbye to All the right. people we're ah! waving Press, Goodbye. press stop record, Goodbye. please. It's, it's Field of Gay Dreams. Okay. Very, we're, we're, good. We're, 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 very, yeah. very good. Very good. Press stop very record. Good, very good. Press the button very now. Very good. Press okay, it. Okay, goodbye. Bye. <laughs>